Here I am, all wired up to the shredometer prototype 1. I'm going to finger tap a double stop and gradually speed up, and you can watch the needle gradually rise as I do that. Now let's try some different finger tapping. I'm just going to play another finger tapping passage and as I go faster you'll see the needle rise. There, a demonstration of finger tapping with a shredometer. Now I'm going to do another kind of demonstration. I'm going to play a single note and speed up that single note and you'll see the needle rise as I do so. Now, I'm going to change the mode, the range switch. Now we're at the 0 through 22 range. You'll see that the same type of a demonstration uh, will only take the needle to the maybe the middle of the, of the spectrum or so. Because, of course, were I much faster, I would be able to get it all the way up. Now, let's look at a scale in 0 through 11 range. I'm going to play a scale passage, start slowly and speed up so that you can see the needle rise as I play more than one different note. Let's try something a little different. So there's a couple of examples of uh, playing multiple pitches with the shredometer tracking those multiple pitches. Now let's try another kind of demonstration. I'm going to do my favorite thing, which is to turn on the click and to set a goal for myself. Now I'm going to switch into pick mode so that now I'm into click mode. At this moment, the shredometer is tracking the click. I'm also going to go into 0 through 22 mode. Let's say that my goal was to play 10 notes per second. I'm going to get that needle to go straight to 10 with a click. And I'm going to start playing along with that. And when I switch the foot switch, the shredometer will start to clock my guitar instead of the click. Right now it's clocking the click, but I'm going to start to play along with the click. Now I'm going to switch. Now of course when I stop playing, the needle falls because if I was playing accurately, it would stay up, and if I were to stop or falter, it would fall. I'll start playing along again, and the needle will go up to 10 again. Pretty amazing, isn't it? What you've been looking at is prototype number one. This shows proof of concept and the incredible long-range potential of the shredometer. When we partner with a major music manufacturer, we expect that this concept will be fully realized in the best way possible. I can't overemphasize the importance of the shredometer as a super metronome. As a shredder myself, I spend countless hours with my metronome trying to get faster and faster. But what a metronome can't do for me is give me an audio goal to try to reach. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn on the click of the shredometer. Now, I know a player like John Petrucci can play about 13 or 14 notes a second. So I can turn this up and see just what that sounds like. And I can use this as a goal and say, boy, wouldn't it be cool if I could play that fast? And I can try and try and try until I can do it. Then I can say, well, heck, what does 16 notes a second sound like? It sounds like that. Wouldn't that be cool if I could, if I could do that? And then I can turn it up to the very fastest picking I've ever heard anybody do. To around 19.5 notes a second. And I'm going to think to myself, no matter how much practice I have, I might never get that fast, but wouldn't it be cool? And the shredometer can help me get as far as possible with that goal. These are images of what the shredometer will look like as a fully realized product. We've come up with a very attractive logo custom plastic housings, fully rendered digital models. We like to think it looks pretty amazing. In closing, I'd like to mention that I'm partnered with my longtime friend and attorney, Jay Grubb, and that we have been developing this idea for some time. 
It's not just another phase shifter or fuzz box. It's something brand new that's going to open up a multi-million dollar slice of the music industry. Imagine a version of Guitar Hero where you have to qualify on the shredometer to make it to the next level. Imagine contests at major stores where, instead of judges figuring out arbitrarily who's better, guitar performance is quantified like an Olympic sport. This is where the shredometer can lead online communities, a completely new technology that opens up many doors and many lucrative avenues for an investor. The shredometer is protected by trademark and patent pending. And the trademark name shredometer carries quite a lot of value in itself. All you have to do is Google search that name to find dozens of blog entries, reviewers mentioning it. It's sort of like Beam Me Up Scotty, but instead of science fiction, it's reality now. So uh, the shredometer trademark, the dot coms, the dot orgs, the dot nets, the patent. It's all valuable stuff that whomever partners with us will be able to exploit fully. And I hope that would be you. Let's talk. I'm Tobias Hurwitz. Thanks for watching.